WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Last minute food shopping or heading off to Grandma's house. Weather looks good for travel across much of the region and should stay that way on into our Thanksgiving, but it is going to be cooler. A cold front moved across the area early this morning, but the chilly air is taking a couple of hours to arrive. It's going to be cool tonight and also for tomorrow, but temperatures will start to rebound heading into Black Friday. Weather across the region very, very calm with the exception of some gusty winds. Right now you're seeing some sunshine break out through the clouds and it is mild out there right now in the Red Rose City. We're sitting at 52 degrees. But notice the wind sustained at 20 miles per hour. It is certainly blustery out there. Notice the temperature range across the region. It's 51 if you're watching us in Harrisburg, but drops all the way to 39 back towards Lewistown. Sustained winds anywhere from 10 to just over 20 miles per hour, and we are seeing some gusts in excess of 30 miles per hour. It is going to remain breezy through the afternoon. Winds will start to die down after sunset. Temperatures, they're just going to hover right around 50 and then start to drop into the upper 40s as we get closer to sunset. Overnight tonight, it is going to be seasonably chilly. Lows will be in the mid to upper 20s, and I do expect the winds to stay relatively light as we head into our Thanksgiving, and it is also going to be dry. Temperatures tomorrow will be in the low to mid 50s. So before the break, we talked about the warmest Thanksgiving. What was the coldest back in 1930? Had a low of 16 degrees and the snowiest Thanksgiving was 6.8 inches of snow back in 1938. Have some flurries north of State College back toward Du Bois along uh, I-80. There may be some flurries through the afternoon, but notice how quiet the weather is across most of the country. We have a large ridge of high pressure over the mid-Mississippi River Valley. Weak storm system is moving right along the Canadian border coming out of the Rockies, and another storm system is back off to the west over towards the Pacific Northwest. So if you're heading toward the Pacific Northwest, you're running into some showers. Much of the country looks like it's going to be dry. Look over towards Denver. Denver. Tomorrow's high 71 degrees. Zooming back in over the region, there's the rain that we had this morning. If you're watching us in eastern portions of Lancaster County, York County, you saw a few isolated showers, but that storm system moves away from the New England shoreline as we head through tonight. Nice ridge of high pressure builds back in across the region. Our turkey day looks like it's going to be on the cool side, but will be dry. We'll see some high level clouds build in across the region late tomorrow evening, and then as we head into sun, uh, Friday, rather, we'll see more in the way of some sunshine and notice the winds. They change direction and it is going to be a little bit warmer. So cool as we head into uh, tomorrow. Temperatures only staying in the 40s. We're back up to near 50 degrees by Friday. And then heading into the weekend, a few isolated showers will be around late in the day. Could also see some flurries and blustery conditions for Sunday. But for much of the week ahead, it looks like it is going to be uh, fairly quiet weather wise, other than some gusty winds today and also as we get closer to the weekend. All right, but a pretty nice holiday. Yeah, it should be nice. All right, thanks, Ethan.